Welcome to the final edition of the NFL season of Drive to Survivor on the Hammer. Bet. Reminder to smash like and sub to the Hammer HQ and Forward Progress channel on YouTube and to check out the Hammer.bet for all your sports betting needs. Rob Pizzola, Cam Stewart, it's been a year. It's only been four days, but it's been a year. It's sure has. it's been a year. It's been uh yeah, I mean this this show is the you know we've been defeated many times. I'm kind of glad this might be the last week that we're uh we're picking uh just a winner to root for. There can't be anybody left in the survivor or you like it's two people like you've won your survivor right like so i i know of uh, a bunch of pools that are still going on right now wow yeah w- without buy-ins without rebuys yeah wow that's very impressive yeah gotta give so, them credit you really do honestly it's been at one of those years as we can attest to <laughs> where uh a lot of the favorites just haven't got the job done but uh there are people alive somehow i'm gonna make this one short and sweet Oh, all right. Uh, Tampa uh, Falcons. <laughs> you know what? Frank Falcon. I, w- I was actually going to recommend the Falcons. Listen, well, again, I, I, again. as you know, I know I played this game wrong. Like I rank backup quarterbacks wrong. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. I'm not taking a double digit. Like I can't, I'm digging the 49ers. I know, I know I can do that in this game, but I like to do it with people that are alive and know what? You might actually have the Falcons yes. in a pool. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking as well. Like the Thank rest you. of the the fit, like I, I I think that you know obviously if you had the 49ers or whoever else is a, the Eagles, which you probably don't, you would take them. Then if you go down to the next tier of favorites, I I like Cincinnati to win, but I doubt people have Cincinnati yep. remaining against Baltimore. So if you go down to like the teams that are in the three, four, five point favorite range, Atlanta, like Tampa Atlanta. Bay. Like, what's the incentive for Tampa Bay here? Tam- like, Tampa they- Bay can barely win on a good week with all their players. Exactly. Playing. They should have lost to Carolina, Pat. We're all on them. The fact they covered that spread is disgusting in itself. Atlanta. Frankie for- Falcon, our old friend. Fortunately, Fly. for anyone last week who was betting, Carolina with that weird field goal, which was the smart move to do, covered the teaser if you had Carolina as a teaser leg. So shout out to Steve Wilkes for that one. I agree. That's a good call, Pat. Did we win last week? Who did we take? I yeah, think we, we won again. I think we, we won. Did. I know we won because nobody tweeted at me uh, that we lost. I think we just kind of went with it and it won. It was uh, who was it? Is somebody uh, documenting this stuff? Yeah, I, I usually do, but the, you really only could have <laughs> lost last week. There, there weren't many teams you could have lost with last week. <laughs> okay. Right. Anyway, I think I think this week we were doing actually like people of service. Like if you're there. The Falcons, if you don't use, it seems like a logical choice. In we your, took the, final we week took the, the Giants last week. Your boy Daniel Jones against Nick Foles. Oh, and no, no, and they annihilated them. No, that oh, that oh, was oh, maybe oh, sorry, our sorry. best. What was, what was Daniel Jones' line in that game? I think he rushed for ninety-nine yards and two touchdowns. So okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Maybe he gets play still running. You know what? If he, if he plays the Colts every week, you might be right. <laughs> yeah, he he might put up some top ten numbers against him. I, I, I mean. I almost pray uh, now that Daniel Jones next year just gets better and better and better. And well, then you guys can finally give me the Barry Horowitz. Oh, well, may, nice. maybe so. I mean, there is a scenario. I was looking at the NFC odds right now. The Giants are 30 to one to win the NFC in the playoffs. Like there is a weird scenario where they play Minnesota in the first round. I mean, we just watched that game. The Giants could have beat Minnesota. I don't want to say easily because yep. they didn't win, but that's what a 55, 45, 10, that's a coin flip mm-hmm. game. Basically. Yep, yep. And then if they win, they probably play the Eagles, who've already beat them twice. And you know how that works out for teams that beat you twice in a year. You never win the third game. So now all of a sudden the Giants are the NFC championship game to get throttled by San Francisco, probably. But there's like a weird path for them to maybe not have the most difficult time in the NFC playoffs if they play all right. It's true. I can actually see the Giants, as sick as it sounds, making a run, especially because of the matchup against Minnesota in the first round. Um, it's like, I like Baltimore if Lamar comes back and he's healthy. The problem is they, they'll they have to beat the Bills, Chiefs, and Bengals back-to-back-to-back to back to back weeks. Like, they're just too Lamar, tough. Lamar's not coming back, Pat. I think this is a ploy to get more money. He bet on himself, and uh, there's going to be a lot of problems in Baltimore moving forward. This guy did a smart thing. He's going to get paid by somebody else. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, can I make a prediction? Sure. 
And Gabe and I talked about on our show. I think the New York Jets and Lamar Jackson seem to be a well. Yeah, I, we, well. we we talked to Cust about that, and Cust is all in. Even if you have to give up Sauce Gardner in the trade, you do it. No, no, saying. we can't. No, there's no need to get rid of Sauce, Sauce Gardner. No. Why don't we just make this work? What's he? No, keep Sauce on the team and just find a way to get Jackson. You don't have to give Sauce Gardner up. The New York Jets will be running a two <laughs> quarterback system next year of. Sam Darnold and Geno Smith. That would be amazing. Amazing. Imagine they bring back the guys that they rode out of town and they bring them back in to run a two QB system and they suck again. Man, I would love that for the Jets franchise. I love rooting against the Jets, particularly it, Cust. It's pretty fun, right? It I is. Gotta be, I got to be honest with you. I don't find it fun at all. I, I, even though the Bills are the team I cheer for or whatever, like I don't hate the Jets. For well, me... I, it's I love Mac Jones and the Patriots. Well, yeah, yeah, but like you, he, there's a team that you like to hate on, right? And it's yeah. Mac, it's it's the Patriots. I, I I'm I'm more inclined. Like I like the Bills because you know a lot of my friends like the Bills. Yeah, me too. I, I I like to root for Miami because Mike McDaniel looks like me. It's honest. true. I, I I just I get a tan, Rob. Like honest to God, like you got to get a tan and then like figure it out because once you get that guy's skin tone. Like you guys could be, it's doppelganger time. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can to like turn this into serious money. And I haven't figured it out yet. But You're a like, smart guy. I thought you'd have like five plans by now. You got to like figure if, it out. Like if I could just get McDaniel's email address and just shoot him a thing and be like, I don't well, need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Get, get information. Take a picture of yourself. Go to go hit a tanning bed for a while. Say, mm -hmm. hey. How you doing? I, and, and and you do football. I don't know, Rob. You got to do something. Like he probably right? doesn't want to do the pressers that he has to do. I can step in for him on those. <laughs> Actually, right? he has been getting more surly at the end of the year. Remember, he was, remember at the start, he was all witty. Hey, everybody. Oh, he, he made some jokes this time. past week. And now he's like, yes, it's football team. We have a lot of injuries. Like, yeah, like the season has beat him down emotionally. Well, like, he did like make you some guys jokes. beat me down with the quarterback uh, comments. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked him about signing Mike Glennon and he made a joke and the Miami media has not received it too well. It's like, oh, you want a joke at the pressers when you're going to miss Mike the Mike Glennon now? is, oh, now, now we can talk about yep. guys that are absolute stiffs. Mike <laughs> Glennon is the worst of the worst. Mike Glennon is whole. Matt, guy, are, are we going to agree? Pat, Matt, Matt, where do you write? Mike Glennon is... Oh God! Hey, on, he, like, he's awful. Hey, on our best bet show, we did talk about some of the best short yardage QBs of all time. I think between Mike Clennon and Davis Mills, you got that neck. You're probably pretty good to go. <laughs> um, yeah, those, those. I mean, you know who is actually a great short yardage QB <laughs> that it comes down to my I, not short yardage goal line QB was oh. Drew Brees. I agree with that. You remember Drew Brees? Yeah, he was. Jump he was and reached too. the ball across, and nobody could figure yeah. out what like what to do there. That was. Nobody does that. And they all protect the ball now. You got to protect. It's like just do what Drew Bees did and you score a touchdown 95% of the time. Like when everyone's protecting the ball. Anyways. Well, it's, right, it's, it's, it's it, we'll put it this way. It's no different than having like the quote unquote goal line back. It's like, oh, you need your Brandon Jacobs, Lendale Whites to run the ball in because they're so big. I mean, the best goal line back I can ever remember is Ladanian Tomlinson, who would just be little, crouch down, yep. run into a pile and pop out the other side. <laughs> Even Darren Sproles could do it too, yep. like a lot of the time, like Geoff's buddy. Yeah, no, it's it's not a, just about size. You just got to find holes, right? Be shifty, it's leverage. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm with you, but I, I will say Mike Glennon, in my opinion, is one of the worst quarterbacks of all time. Yeah, auto fade. You know, there's like guys that they start and you just can't click the yep. button quick enough. Yeah, that's Mike Glennon. Uh, agreed. Remember that game, Rob? I forget what it was. Like he was in there, and I think he they start pick six, pick six. Like they were, it was like twenty but nothing. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like he's bad. It's Nathan Peterman is in that. Actually, category, you know so. what? And he's starting this week yes. for the Bears. Yep. That is an issue. As soon as that happened, as soon as I got whiff, a whiff that Fields might not play in the game, it was I can't bet Minnesota quick enough here. That's thing that I don't understand, guys. Peterman's like a th like third stringer or barely like in the league, in my opinion. The fact that he's a backup quarterback. See, I have an issue with that. Well, he's I I mean, we watched Nick Foles play like. If, Back to back, like, but Nick Foles is basically essentially a third or fourth stringer because it goes uh, with El Ellinger and yeah. um, and every Brian and uh, yeah. yeah, Foles is three or four. He's yeah, but not what, two. What I'm saying is like, how is the guy even in the league? At the, like, I guess maybe uh, I, may, maybe he can impart some wisdom on a younger quarterback like Ellinger, but like Foles is like, 
No, My God. Blows. Yeah, yeah. Like no. He's thrown off his back foot like he's yoloing into double Players coverage like all the time. He's like, a religious guy. I think they like he's good in the team prayers. And maybe stuff like that's that. fair yeah. enough. There's no. there's other factors about other than just the pure quarterback play. You're, I I hadn't yeah. considered that part of it. Yeah, I mean, you need someone Thank to you. be a good good prayer guy for the team circle. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of like yeah, he's like a, a deacon in there. You know what I mean? You go to service with mass with Nick Foles and just watch him run around with a wooden leg and throw a pick. So okay. out of curiosity, though, why do you think the Colts would pay a quarterback like a million dollars to run their prayer service when they could just pay like a, a deacon or a priest? Probably a lot less than that to run the prayer service. Well, because as a third stringer, he might actually have to get into the game and he's still on the roster. The priest is not able to play football on the side, <laughs> even though Nick Foles doesn't really play football. He's still I mean, there. I mean, the priest might have just as good a chance of leading the team to a win as Nick Foles does. <laughs> All right, that will do it. Been, oh, are we done? Uh, yeah, we, go down, right? we got this one quick away. question. Have you ever gone to a confessional? I'm not Catholic. I've always wanted to I have. Do it I've just to, to see the experience. I am Catholic. I want the I, guy to whisper to me about stuff and tell me, like, you know, what I'm doing wrong. Well, it's not really like that at all. They just listen. They don't really win. like. It's not like so you, you just see spill him. your guts. So if you're like a bad guy, it's yeah. like, hey, you know, I yeah. uh, you, you, you say know, you I know, hit this I guy over the head with a baseball bat, and I really regret it now. Like, oh, yes. okay, and then they'll okay, basically like, okay, son. go, go do, go say five hail marys, and we'll absolve you. <laughs> That's of what I sins. love about it. So you can basically like just put a knife in a guy, and then in confessional, everything's cool. Like you don't have to worry about anything anymore. I, I don't know what the laws are on like. There's certain professions, right, where you, they have to keep stuff secret. Yes. regardless of the situation. Right? I would say but, murder, though. They'd have to go to the cops. I don't know what it is, but like, yeah, I, I, I would be careful of what I would tell. the Like if I murdered somebody, I mean, unless I was so torn up that I, I needed like him, you know, to absolve me of the sins. Yeah. I would probably be careful about confessing to murder at a confession. I, I agree. You can confess to like, you know, penny yeah, theft, I, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. I thought, you know, I switched some, some, uh, tick prices around at the grocery store so I could get cheaper meat I don't or do whatever. That that's, 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 that's another misconception. But you show. did it at some point in life and you would yes, want I have. the Lord to absolve. I will say face. I have switched stickers on meats before. That's all I'm saying. Right. Because you, 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 you gotta, you be, you say like, you know, father, forgive me for, I have sinned. It has been 15 years since my last confession it'll be like all right tell me what's gone on in these 15 years and you just spill your guts and you'd be like okay you know he does like a little prayer and they say go say five hail marys and five our fathers and whatever the penance is and you just move on with life but I, personally i'm not going to make a comment i think that's ridiculous but anyway well, that's it, just uh, I, I i i mean yeah. So, so basically, you do whatever the hell you want that's negative, and uh, everything's going to be cool if you just talk about it. Yes, yeah. that makes, that, that that's, makes, that's, that's how that works. The Lord will forgive you for your your sins. You should be down with the Lord, pal. Out. The Lord will help you yeah. out. Yeah, I haven't been to church in a while. I usually go once a year with my mom. She drags me out, but I want to watch the Hawaii Bowl. <laughs> Please, Cameron, can I just get one time we go to church together? She didn't go this year because she's not doing too good. But yeah, that's usually my thing. Is yeah, I'll give up the Hawaii Bowl. Many a sad Hawaii Bowl on Christmas uh, Eve, Rob. A lot of money, too much money on that game. Get really dangerous. Might have to go to confessional. I was watching my 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 boy, Tiny Hands, Kenny Pickett, yeah. come back from behind on uh, Christmas Eve. Yes. Smaller tiny. hands than Jared Goff, if you believe it. Yeah, well, tiny those hands. tiny hands are playing pretty damn good football right now. Yeah. They were all they were concerned about that cold weather in Pittsburgh. How is Tiny Hands going to hold the ball? Huh. I actually, can... to be honest with you, I don't see Pickett fumble a lot. Those tiny hands, maybe he's just got a strong grip. Tiny hand, strong grip. Yep. It's possible. Yep. All right. That will do it. On the season finale of Drive to Survivor, presented by the Hammer.bet for Rob, for Cam. I'm Pat Mayo. Smash a like on the way out. All right. We'll see you next year. <laughs>